Hello, welcome back to episode 36 of our Gene Forge 2 Infestation playthrough. We are coming in here. We're going to try once again now that we are level 11 and have 5 points of melee, which means we have the Purifying Blade. Decently sized swing. We need uh, some sort of attack that uh, gives us a charge forward. Uh, anyway, we are going to come around this corner here. Oh, not just yet. We need speed or blessing protection. Now we're going to come around the corner. going to charge in and dominate one of your friends. Oh, that was free, and we're going to hit you with acid. Acid resisted, what? 50, ah, come on. All right, you know, charge. Our little rat didn't get a turn. <laughs> he's gonna run away. Because he's nearly dead already. Alright, we want to use guarded lunge. Make him vulnerable. 199. That's what I'm talking about. I think he has 100% stun resistance, but we could try it out. Yeah, <laughs> You run on back here. Alright, uh... Fix nearby allies. Alright, we're gonna use that one time. And then we're gonna use... Warren Field Life Drain. Nice. It's vulnerable too, alright. Ooh, we get two attacks and there we go. Yep, you just chill out up here, friendly rat. What? That's that's messed up. He gets two turns back to back. Alright, I hit one healing pod. And we hit that guarded lunge again. Yeah, you just wait there. Yeah, so some some funky about the turn order here. Um, keep in that life drain. And then let's try slowing him down, see if that works. Nice. Yep, you just wait. Oh, nice. There we go. When the experimental rogue dies, the body releases a faint cloud of glowing essence. Bracelet Sharon gave you draws in the mist. It shines brightly for a few moments. When the light fades, there is a new fang in one of the holes in the bracelet. Okay. You just wait right here. Uh, go ahead and give him a nice pop. How many more turns of charm? He has one more turn of charm. All right, we'll go stand next to him. Nope, oh, you continue waiting right here. Give me a little stab. There we go. All right, that was, whew. A heart and a ball. All right, so let's, let's take a look actually at the 
bracelet. All right. Oops. One thing bracelet. Uh, four and four plus one to strength. Oh, it goes instead of our gloves. Spellcraft and intellect, man. This is... Interesting. We still don't know how this can be used, really. Just carry it around, take up a slot in our pack. Alright, quick save. It's there. Go ahead and heal up our friendly rat. Do we have any easy use stuff? No, we don't. Alright. View experimental flesh 1160. Similar resistances, no armor, but a lot of cold, fire, and energy. Level 14. Alright, we may have to come back to him later. <laughs> but we did get... We did get the first one. Which is nice. It's like, what have you been, what have you been cooking out here? You know, what, re what sort of research are you doing here? Shaping, of course. Uh, choose, fuse shaped creatures and physical objects. What have you learned? It's difficult to get interesting books out here. Is there any way I can help? Is the book my library in? Oh, wait. Okay, I already, I already have another question. What sort of research? You can create powerful magical items. Perhaps there's experiment I would like to try. Components would be hard to find. We plan to create an enchanted ring. This ring would help anyone who follows the way of stealth and diplomacy. Be a precious tool for those who rely on stealth and cunning, not battle. Experiment I would in return let you take the ring I made. Ooh. What do I need to get? Shard of crystal, totally pure and flawless. Need purified essence, very difficult for even a skilled shaper to make. Finally, I need a fresh, undamaged leg tendon of a drake. Where might I find these things? I don't know. They are very rare, precious components. If you explore the mountains, I would look for old shaper laboratories. Sometimes things kept in storms are forgotten and left behind. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. I don't remember that communication last time. Alright, so we took on the one, the one experiment. We're probably gonna have to come back later for the other ones. It was a tough, nasty fight. Yeah, we're ready to leave. Let's pop over to Madab, just for fun. Top up all our stuff. And then take a quick look at our journal quests. All right, Barzal. Servants Awakened. All right, Sharon's book, Sharon's ring. All right, Lance Spy, Drake, Cure Servile Disease. Oh yeah. Helped with Barzite, Swafford's book, Rune Casting, and Embryonix, and then check Elra's tomb. Right, we can go check Elra's tomb. We found out where that was last time. Let's go ahead, pop up here to Elra's tomb. the areas to the side here. Nope, I was thinking maybe there's something interesting. Looks to be green snow falling. You step into a cool, dry cavern. 
This is a long network of tunnels, the honorable final resting place of awakened serviles. Most of the caves are natural caverns, laboriously widened, widened out by servile workers with picks and shovels. The excavations are recent, but the stone floor already shows signs of wear for many visiting pilgrims. However, visiting traffic has recently ceased. It is cold and quiet, and dust and mold cover the floor. Wandering rogues and recent warfare between the awakened and other sects has kept visitor away. visitors away. Though it is still and quiet inside the tombs, it is not peaceful. You feel strangely nervous. A hint of sulfur is in the air. It's not mere superstition. In the absence of visitors, strange magic has taken root here. It's sulfur means fire magic. You should take me. When this servile gets a good look at you, he steps out of the shadows. A shaper here? Is this hope? The words start to pour out of him. Are you here to help? Things are all wrong here. He stops and forces himself to calm down. Sorry, I am Conovar. I am a spell worker for the Awakened. I came here to check on the tomb. Things are not right. Something has invaded these halls, I think. I have been here for days, trying to explore the depths without endangering myself. It is getting worse all the time. Are you here to investigate? I would come with you, help you find out what is happening. He starts to follow you. How long have you been here? About a week. I haven't gone far in. Only enough to get a glimpse of something. Then I ran away. Stayed out here, waited for help. It's too dangerous going in, I think. Weren't you afraid to camp here? Of course, but I had a job to do. I could sleep at least. Sometimes. I, I had to sleep. I hear whispering all the time. It was good to get away from it. What'd you see? Looked like a ghost, but a human ghost. That is not right. Why wouldn't why wouldn't there be a human ghost? The caves here were just caves before the awakened made it a crypt. There's no sort of magic here that should summon the spirits of the dead. When I saw it, it didn't sense me, so I ran. I think there are more horrible things back in there. Are there servile ghosts? No? At least no ghost of a servile has ever been seen. Uh we actually <laughs> may have seen the first one when Echo Blade was too angry to die and his spirit attacked us. Yeah, another question. Uh, yes, can I help you? Tell me more about this place. Many dead servals resting here, and also a handful of humans. So there are humans here that could be the human ghost. This is where we awaken, burying our honored dead, and mostly the ones who died building the cities and settlements up here. Of course, Elra is buried up here. Right, tell me about Elra. Greatest of servals back in Sushi Island. He founded the Awakened. He helped us build cities and learn to live for ourselves. He created our principles. Coming here was too hard for him, though. He died. He's here now, and, and servals used to come see his tomb all the time. Our principles. The idea that our freedom is within us and doesn't need to be granted by shapers. The idea of free exchange. You should go to Madame if you want to learn more. Learn better leads us now. Alright, the question what about this place? Is anyone new ever buried here? There will be. If horrible things stop happening. The war has kept anyone from coming here. The tombs have been abandoned for months. Alright. Principles and the question. Alright. So you're gonna follow us. It's your health. Four hundred health, okay, that's good. No poison resistance is not good. Just uh, don't mind, I'll take your shoes and your ale. Thing over here, just a basket. It's a book. Alright, bag of meal. Leave the meat for now, I'll go read the book. The book lists all of the dead serviles and a few humans that are buried here. When they died and their manner of death when they died and their manner of death. Most but not all of the dead were interred here about five years ago. Cause of death predictably unpleasant. <laughs> no kidding. The most common given reasons are starvation accident and slain by rogue. There are a few, body destroyed by failed magical augmentation, and one, infected by tainted essence warped beyond recognition. Well, that one sounds like a promising cause for our ghost. Alright, are you following me? You're following me. 
but you're not part of my pot party. Candle, shovel, chisels. Just a bucket. Okay. Many offerings for the dead were left here. All are covered with dust and some have rotted away. Alright, well, I hope you don't mind me taking all of your gifts. We walk past old, dusty offerings on the floor, left by servals mourning their dead. As you move deeper into the tunnels, you begin to hear moans and whispers. Invisible people are having conversations all around you, but so quietly that you can barely understand it. Kanavar frowns and shakes his head. This isn't right. The servile's beard here can't be ghosts. I've never heard of a servile ghost. Sure seems like there are ghosts here, but that can't be right. I mean, there's human spirit here. What's in here? Trowels and shovels. Uh, okay. What we got? 127 health, poison, and mental resistance. Level 14. We may be in the wrong area. Uh, we're gonna hit up that speed. I'm gonna charge you. Oh, wait. And missed. Uh, poison resistant. Yeah. Oh well. Alright, little mouse is gonna run away. Wow. Um not acid resistant. Acid apparently kills ghosts too. Oh, he healed our little mouse. That's nice. Still gonna stay at the back. Mastery, fireball picks you off. Nice hit. Ouch. Chain lightning is rough. Stunned, like to see it. Okay. Good. Yeah, I agree. This isn't right. We lost our poor little uh, dude. Treat lost a battle. Right, your dried flowers are mine. Uh, goblet's not useful. Leader Rydell came to wisdom too late. Are these the bears? Leader Kobar sustained us during the long march. That's the, the obeyers and the takers from Susha Island. I think. Double check this one. Who is this again? Treat. Yeah, all those names sound really familiar from the first game. We're going to have to come back, Mr. Conovar, after we have remade our poor little... Uh, We can just pop in a triola real quick. Um, that's gonna jerk in. Let's make our thad. Fire shaping to four, battle shaping to three to unlock the second form of claw bug. I wonder what happens if you. So we. We get some sort of. Here we go. You know, we're not worried about our posts. 148. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna keep this on when we go to this level. 148. And then we swap it back. 
Big brain time. All right. Uh, you gonna come with me again? Uh, why don't you come with me? All right. So he's kind of useful. Alright, we're gonna speed one less in protection. We're gonna come through. Yeah, that was the right move. Uh, can we get to. We can't. Alright, we're gonna walk closer. Hit you with some acid. And some fire. And we missed, of course. Uh, hit that charge. Um, that's all you got. Uh, you can go back through the doorway for now. And uh, hit up that life drain. Not sure that how that works exactly. Make them come to us. You can wait right there. Uh, and the searing bolt missed. Try again. Hmm. Close that distance. Yeah, we're right here. The guarded lunge. Ooh, that's a good hit. Uh, you can just wait there. Heal up our bed. Only 57. We can hit him again. Alright, scout around the corner. Oh, two more goes. Scout back. You just go back over to the to the door. Oh, a turret. Interesting. We can have the ground sword, wooden shield, iron shield. Yeah, we'll uh, hide right there for now. And just walk over here. Sort of, uh, checking out things. Oh, that's his pod, carrying pod. I'll take it. We're in combat mode, slowing us down, but keeping us from, oh, we don't have action points left. don't want to. I wasn't trying to do that. I don't want to close it. I want to search again. A limb and a heart. Normally, I'm not big on fighting ghosts, but occasionally. Uh, you have to. Steel dagger. Get the iron chance to hit. Alright, we're gonna need to hit the speed again. And more blessing again. We got ghost. And protection. Yeah, that's what we need. Q 
Can we hit the searing bolt from here? Too far. All right. I wonder if the rat has some sort of, uh... Ex oh. Extra use... somewhere. Oh, snap. We about to get got. Well. Oh, I have no stun resistance actually. That's unfortunate. Hit this turret. No, that's why they're not attacking us. Okay. Some of the fire. Missed. Oh, come on now. There we go. Firebolt. Recovery. Uh, excuse me? Every month, but at least they're not attacking us. Uh, all right. Suppression turret, but just have regular thorns. Interesting. Uh, I need a drink after dealing with all these ghosts. Let's see what we got here. Natalie was just too tired. Alpha Z fought hard, never understood. Well, that's a tragedy right there. Oh. Okay, and we still have the steel breastplate. We did put the steel breastplate back on. Alright, so we're going to go back. Make our little fat again. He's absorbing quite a bit of attacks right at the beginning. Yeah, we'll pop over to Triola. And I think our little trick that we figured out of where make him and then we keep the Thadskin jerking on. We go to Elra's tomb. And then we swap it for the steel breastplate. Bellcraft and intellect, yep, those are definitely going to be... Are you going to follow me if I just walk past you? No, I have to talk to you every time. Why don't you come with me? All right. All right. Let me do a quick save now. We've gotten a lot of the ghosts cleared out. I think, yeah, we missed some stuff up here. Sure, I'll take some wine. 
some iron sword. Iron shield. Okay. Who is this? Parvin Blade defied shapers until the end. Interesting. Alright, come on, Kadavar. Let's uh, head down here. Oh man, there's more turrets. Alright, so we speed this, this. Rock around the corner and searing bolt. Alright, you're not going to be really useful here. You can just chill out. Hit the steering bolt on you. Uh, you might be able to finish ammo. There we go. Oh, man, of course. There's one hiding around the corner. Uh, you're good. Another stack of acid. Hit that stunning bash. Nice. Nice. Walk up here and give him the old acid attack. There we go. Connor reaches out and touches the door in front of you. He mutters a few quiet words. You hear a click from the lock. Some of the inner chambers are well protected. Fortunately, I know the way through. Okay. Well, we're going to stay in combat mode so that we can, oh boy, yeah, keep our haste and everything up. Yeah, all that mental resistance is kind of annoying. Thankfully, they can still be punched by our thad. Uh, you stay there. We'll hit that. Oh man, that's a lot of ghosts. Heal you up while we're at it. Still a couple of turns away. Mr. Mouse can... Ouch. Getting close. Yep. Ouch. Ouch. Cursed. A bit annoying. Uh, what's their stun resistance? Zero percent. Hit him in the old air shock. Yeah, there we go. Finish you off. And, and we missed, of course, because, you know. Oh, one more. Oh. Trusty fireball. Blast hasted. Uh, go ahead and give you the heal. Yep, we just have a rat taking up turns. And give ourselves the heal. Yeah, it's rats like. We're going to lose him eventually when we step into a fight that, uh, walk seven, charge, ah, there's a thing in the way. Don't get too close, we don't want these chain lightnings to be cosmos issues. And the regular fireball. 
and punch. All right, good amount of combat now because all our little blessings and whatnot have worn off. Let's go check out all of the supplies that they left us. Oh, dead servile. Robe, dagger, surface. He's carrying an amphora. Very interesting. All right. Well, it's taken us a bit of time just to explore this part, and there's a lot of tomb left. So we are going to finish exploring this tomb next time. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.